I'm going to show you an absolutely broken XP glitch in Star Wars Jedi Survivor. So in my last one, we hit two skill points per minute. At that point, I thought we were done. I thought there'd be no better way to do this. Well, it turns out, thanks to comments and then me putting them together to try to figure out my own method, I have found a method that will actually get three skill points per minute. And if you're low level, it might get four or five skill points per minute or more because you actually get less XP the higher level that you are. But me being almost max level... I get all I get three skill points per minute doing this now we're gonna be going back to the fort so most people have not seen this so I'm gonna have to go through the whole process again hopefully this will be the last one though three skill points per minute if you do what I'm gonna show you here so we are on Kobo you're gonna want to go to the settlement and you're gonna want to go to Pyloon saloon now if you're at the point in the story where you've rescued Z then you can go in here and you can get a perk and this perk will increase the amount of XP that you get so just enter into the saloon and again if you've rescued z then you can go up these stairs and you can trade five data discs in order to get a perk that will let you get even more xp and this is really important if you want to get the full three skill points per minute so you talk to z talk to him multiple times if you never talked to him before and then after you've talked to him enough times you can go over to this and there'll be a shop button right here and then you can go over here and i already have it so i don't know if it'll even show it in here but there'll be a, a perk in here called called wisdom was that what i just see it yeah wisdom right there i already have it so uh this one you put on to get more xp from enemies and don't forget to equip it you have to actually go to a meditation point and equip it to show you what i mean here's a meditation spot down at the bottom left perks and then you can go in here and you can actually find it on the right and then uh you can equip it so make sure that it is equipped on the left you'll see on the left that it shows it's now equipped now we get our bonus xp so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to a place called Fort Kalen. So if you go to the map, you'll see the settlement. Okay, rotate it like this because it makes it easier to see. We're going to have to go down through here and go all the way through this area. Well, mainly through here, right through here in order to get to Fort Kalen. So in order to do this, depends on where you are in the game, but um, generally speaking, you should be able to do this right away. Uh, you can just come over this way. Now, I'm going to be jump dashing a lot to make it go faster, but you're going to go right to this and then you can jump up this. Or you have to go get a mount and jump up. And there's more than one way to get up here. But I'm going to show you how to get here. Hopefully this will be the last time I have to show everyone how to get here. For people who haven't seen it before. So we're going to go through here. Cross this bridge. And now let me really quick show you where we are on the map. So now we're right here. There's the settlement. We are right up on this ledge. We're going to go underneath this passage. So you're going to go right through here. And then this will lead you out to a skinny little path. That will lead you to Fort Kalen. And the reason I show this every time I have to do anything at Fort Kalen is because uh, this is a really confusing one to find if you just see it on a map. Because I'm the first time I ever saw I saw it on someone's map. And then I tried to get there and uh, it was not easy to find. So you go across that. Now we're right here on the map. So there was the settlement. Got up on that ledge. Came around here. Came along the skinny path. And now we go through here and get to this meditation point. So there'll be some enemies, but you can just run through them. If you need to, you can change your story mode, or change your difficulty down to story mode. And now here's where things get really different. So we had a lot of issues in the comments. Uh, not a lot, but a few issues. Come. People were having trouble with this and stuff. And I'm going to show you a few different things here. Now, the old method, I have a way to make it easier for Back you to, to get it. up there. And then there'll be a new method that if you have the skills to do it, and I mean skills as in it's kind of difficult, but it's actually doable and repeatable. Uh, then you can get three skill points per minute. But I'm also going to show you a way to get two skill points per minute uh, much more consistently if you're not quite as, you know, mechanical with everything. All right, so from the skill point, we're going to head out into this valley. We have to go over here to get something. So what we're going to do is go all the way out here. I would recommend turning your difficulty down if you have it set too high and just ignore everybody and go out here. And somewhere out here, usually right around here, but sometimes they're just not here for some reason. You have to go further. Um, there will be the mount. So there's one. Uh, sometimes there's one. Sometimes there's six. Sometimes there's three. It's kind of random. This was the absolute worst case scenario spawn being this far away. Normally, they're just right up there by that rock where you see that blue shield up there. Well, either way, you're going to grab one of these guys. And you're going to take him back to the meditation spot. And with this guy, we can do some crazy exploiting of the game. There's some glitches we can abuse that are absolutely insane. So first I'm gonna show you the old way and then I'm gonna show you the new way that's gonna get you three skill points per minute. So the old way was we need to get up on that building and there's some guys who have to pull off a bridge. And in order to do that, you're gonna to wanna to go to your skills and you're gonna to wanna to get a few things. There's things we need in our skills in order to do any of this regardless of which way we do it. 
So over in Telekinesis, you're going to get Wrenching Pull, Twin Pull, and you have to get Unrelenting Pull. If you don't get Unrelenting Pull, then you won't be able to do this correctly. If you, lesser ones, you can pull them off with the lesser ones, but then they'll do a glitch where they just don't die for some reason. Also, it's good to get Attunement. And uh, one thing that I like to have normally for the old school way was to have improved clip with the blaster. Uh, and that's pretty much about all that you'll need uh, if you do it the old way. And the new way, you don't even need the blaster. Uh, well, you'll still need the blaster. Ideally, you're going to want to have the blaster in order to get max XP from this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to rest before he scares that thing off. You already scared it off. I'm going to try to get it to stop. Uh, you have to be careful not to linger for too long or you'll lose your mount because those guys will scare it off. So you're going to get on your mount. You're going to go over here. You're going to see this one pole that's kind of by itself. Just to the left of it, you're going to position your mount right here. And then you're going to get off the mount. Now, I'm going to go ahead and reset real fast. Make sure no enemies are coming up to spook them. Because after about 30 seconds to a minute, enemies come up to start shooting. So you're going to go up to him and you're going to jump on him. And then you're going to jump the full height, jump off, and jump again. And you're going to do that to go over there. Do not, do not move on the first jump or you'll have to reposition your mount every time. So now that we have the mount over here, we can go over to it. Jump on it, jump straight up, and then jump off it. We're going to go for those spikes over there. So you jump off, jump on these spikes, jump away, and then forward. Go up here, shoot all the drones just to get rid of them. This is the old way to do this, by the way. Well, this is the, with the old way, but with the new thing, which is to use that thing. Pull this guy off and shoot him. Pull that guy off and shoot him. You have to shoot him because then they give double XP. Now, that's the old way to do this, but with the new addition of the mount. And that will make that much faster. It'll make it much faster, um, but uh, you like it won't be as fast as the next thing I'm going to show you, the new way to do this. Also, I'm going to go get a new mount, oh, I think, because... Uh, no, 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 no. Got, okay, sometimes the mount can get stuck inside the building. All right, so now I'm going to show you the new way where you get three skill points per minute. Also, don't run the mount on the other side of the fence. You can see what happened to that one and that one over there. You can never get on them again because it counts inside a building. Okay, all right, so now I'm going to show you how to do this for three skill okay. points per minute. So we have the mount in place. You jump over to it. Ideal. Well, I'll try to do it the fastest way in a second. So then you're going to jump up. You're going to jump over. You can dash over. So you can double jump up to this, but it's easier if you have the dash. You can do it early though with double jump. All right, go there. Just jump up to that point and then jump off. And then go here and you can double jump and pull these guys off. And then try to hit them uh, with the blaster before they hit the ground. Now, I don't know. I think I was doing that so slow that the guy already crossed or something. All right, so that's the idea. So if you do it that way, you can go so fast. Oh, there's the guy. You can go so fast that um, you can go so fast that you can get three skill points per minute for most of the leveling process. And then late game, it slows down a little bit less than three. But if you do this early game, you might you might get four skill points per hour, maybe even five if you're really low level. All right, so let me let me reset one more time. I'm gonna show you the fastest way to do this. I'm gonna go as fast as I can. Hopefully, I don't mess it up at all. So, what your idea of what you're gonna do is you're gonna go like this, jump up, jump over to here. If you miss, that's fine. Land there, jump up to here, jump down, get right underneath of them, pull them off, and then blast them. And you just spam, you just spam the blaster because you just need to land a shot, and it's not guaranteed you're gonna hit the shot. Now, if you do this perfectly and you don't mess up and you do it the fastest way possible, which is to double jump, dash onto this, jump, 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 dash, jump away, jump forward, jump down. Let yourself fall, then dash, and then come over to here, and then blast at the guy. And then grab... Oh, the other guy's in a weird spot. Well, that went a little weird, but that's the idea. And if you get it just right, you can get it in right around 20 seconds per rotation. And at lower levels, just if because you shoot them, and it gives you... Just because you shoot them, you get that extra XP. And at lower levels, that's going to be like four skill points per minute. All right, so jump off, come over. If you miss, that's fine. You can jump up. A slow rotation, though, but still pretty fast. Go over, pull him off, and start blasting. And then grab the other guy and start blasting. Every now and then, it'll just miss the shot on the other guy if you're, like, trying to go too fast and stuff. But, yeah. So, with this method, it's crazy, guys. Like, if you can get this thing, to, like, if you do it just right, like I said, you can get right around 20 seconds per rotation. Yeah. And if you can get 20 seconds per rotation, then you can get a ton of skill points per hour. We told both of them are on the bridge. All right, there we go. Yeah, if you can get 20 skill points, or not 20, uh, get 20 seconds per rotation, then yeah, you can get like four to five skill points per minute early game. 
and you can get uh, three skill points through most of the mid game. And once you get to the very end, it's going to start slowing down because it costs more and more XP per skill. And then, of course, it'll be more like two to two and a half or something like that for the last few levels of the game. Uh, but there you go. That method is the play. Always park your mount right here. And that will make it easiest to get up regardless of which way you decide to do it. Um, because you can just jump up. This I just like this area more. This area over here is the play. Uh, some tips with a spike. You jump, and if you, you double jump over, you can get it just like that. The real trick to getting it is you can jump straight up with this and the last second move in the direction when you jump off and you'll actually go in that direction with the jump. So if I jump up and then forward and left jump, I can get the momentum and go in that direction like that. And it makes it, you know, much, much easier to land up there. Now, the, you know, to get three skill points per minute, you're really going to have to play it perfect. I think for most people, regardless of which way you do it, you'll probably be a little bit less than that just because you're not doing it like a speed runner. But the maximum potential with doing it this exact way is going to be um, three skill points per minute and like I said, even more early game. Also, if you're not in a giant hurry and you want it to be a little bit easier, you can actually move the mount over to right here. And that way you can come on strength because what not what will block you from getting up are those spikes that stick out. There's big hitboxes around them. So if you come on from right here and have it already lined up, it makes the jump way easier. So for the sake of consistency, you may just want to line it up like this and then it'll make it 10 times easier to get on. But it'll be a little bit slower because then you have to, in order to get over to the mount, so if I go for a reset, I can't just immediately get over to it, but it definitely would be much more chill to have it over here because instead you have to, you know, go for that longer distance to get on him. But yeah, if you do it that way, that's much smarter though as far as consistency goes. So you can do it like that and then, well, there we go. I usually just spam three. The third one's usually the one that ends up getting them for some reason, but whatever. As long as you hit them before they hit the ground, then you get your double XP. Oh, and one more thing about this. Right. Um, so you might think like, well, if you just jump over high enough, maybe they'll just go. And that's true a lot of the time. But the reason I usually try to land on that spike and go the whole way up is just because it's not consistent. So if you just like jump like that and come down, sometimes they cross, sometimes they just don't. So that's why it's always best for consistency to actually land on the spike and then jump up to here and then go down. That'll most consistently make them actually walk across. That's why I do it that way in case you were curious. And one last thing here, if this XP farm is not for you or if you just need those initial skills we talked about and you need some easy XP, you can go to Jetta and I've showed this in the other videos that I did like on this spot and I'll, I'll show you this one again. So you can head over to, it's easier to see on the left, Halls of Ranvel. And there's a spot here that you can use to get your first, you know, 10, 15 skill points so you can get whatever you need for the, um, the Fort Kalen farm. So this is that meditation point you see right here on the map. And if you're lower level and use some XP, just go here and you can just force push these guys off the ledge like that. And then you can just reset. So when you're low level, this will give a ton of XP. For me, it's like a very small fraction of a bar at this point. Uh, but you can do that one in order to get some initial levels, get the skills that you need. So hopefully it helps you out, guys. I know this is like the third time I've had to cover this uh, spot, but hopefully this will be the last time. Unless more people comment and they find some crazy bugged out way to make it even faster, I struggle to imagine there's going to be a way faster than 20 seconds per cycle. I tested so many things. I got the mount up on the roof. I did things that you wouldn't even imagine off the off recording. Like, I tried everything. But then again, maybe someone will have some crazy comment with some perfect method or something. But as far as I could find, this was the fastest way in the game. Now, I have, I hopefully won't have to cover this again. Hopefully it won't be... I mean, if there's a better XP exploit, I'll let you know. But I don't see there being a better one. This is crazy. Three skill points per minute, XP farm in Star Wars Jedi Survivor.